Nearly 4 million sports-related concussions happen in the U.S. each year. Hey, it's Natalie Zafat, and today I'm talking with Jack Youngblood, Pro Football Hall of Famer, about why he became a brain injury treatment advocate. Jack, in your playing days, how did they test for a concussion? They didn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Literally, hold up two fingers, and if you said five, they said get back, go back and play. They finally got around to looking at the, at your pupils. That was that was back in the in the early 70s. And, but in the 60s, when I started playing, there was no technology, none whatsoever. What made you become an advocate for brain injury treatment and prevention? To be very honest with you and blunt, is I know that I am damaged from, from playing 14 years in the National Football League. I know the damage is coming. I want to know everything I can find out about how can we offset this now. I know that we, we abused ourselves, but, but let's look at the, all this new technology. It's amazing what they're, what they're finding out. Jack, what would you like to see happen in concussion treatment and prevention? One thing is to continue trying to improve the equipment. Number two, in my book, is get coaches who know how to coach technique, how you use your body. You don't, you don't tackle with your head, you don't duck your head. You, you, you place your head and you wrap up and you tackle with your legs, not with your arms. It's all with your legs. And then this technology thing is, I mean, it's, it's exploding now. And, I, and, I, and I, that excites me because I'm gonna get some answers and we're gonna, and we're gonna, we're gonna share that with families, kids coming today, coming up to, to play the game. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.